Hello. Good morning, it's lovely and sunny. That sun is getting so low, it's tickling me where it makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it literally comes up, we've got a hill in front of our house, and it literally comes up like to the hill, a little bit over to say hello, and then it goes back down again, <laughs> doesn't it, this time of year. Give it another couple of weeks and we'll barely see the thing. It's been a funny week up here in the highlands because we've had a bit of fun haven't we funny ha ha not like that fun like you're getting laybys and stuff like that not that sort <laughs> of fun uh we've had to do some work with the hens haven't we <laughs> you may or may not know that avian flu has been spreading across the country it's actually been a problem for a while hasn't it especially in england uh, now the rules in England and Scotland are a little bit different so if we say anything and it's not what's happening in England it's not because we're doing it wrong because we know there's a lot of armchair experts out there that will tell us that it's just that the restrictions are slightly different so up here in Scotland we have to keep them fenced in in an enclosure in England you actually have to keep them indoors yes like in your spare bedroom <laughs> don't you? <laughs> our no. guests wouldn't like that no you don't now, our current enclosure is, what, eight metres long? Yes. And two or three metres wide? Three metres wide. Three metres wide. But then we've got the chicken coop on the end of it, so altogether it's about ten metres long and three metres wide. Yeah. Which is 30 square metres. Yes. So that's what they've got at the moment, then there's uh, ten hens in there, isn't there? We have, it? yes. Because we lost one. Yes. Poor old Henrietta. Got out. She got out and got run over, bless her. So what we've decided to do because it looks like the restrictions are going to go on for a while is we're extending it so we've got some fencing and we're extending it from 30 square meters to just over 250 square meters wow i didn't realize it was that much yep so that means each hen gets 25 square meters to nope. itself no wonder it's taking me a long time <laughs> <laughs> you've been a busy little bee aren't you we both have we both have while he, while he was doing his fencing, I was mowing the grass. I don't mean like like uh, trimming the bush, I mean like mowing the grass, actu <laughs> actually mowing the grass. Now, where I was mowing the grass, one of our walls, our dry stone walls, is quite old. I mean, it's about 140 years old, isn't it? It's a dry stone wall. And it supports a grass banking behind it. And over the years, the banking kind of moved forward in a couple of places. So we've got like two pretty decent sized bulgers. <laughs> what? So uh, you've got a filthy <laughs> mind, you have, haven't you? Uh, now, one of them, I was mowing the grass and I accidentally knocked the mower into one of the bulgers and so it moved. So what did I do? I stopped the mower and I went, Oi, Sean, come on, look at this. And kicked it. And tapped, no, I tapped the wall. Kicked it. No, I tapped it like Lionel Blair would tap. I tapped it with my, with my boot quite hard. And the lot fell down. <laughs> and the whole bulge just came like tumbling down. Now it's a good job there wasn't any tiny horses or guinea pigs running around under there, is Guinea it? pigs? Well, they would have been squished, wouldn't Where they? Where would the guinea pigs come from? We could have had guinea pigs. Oh, God. Well, they wouldn't be alive now, would they? Because they'd be squished under the rocks. So, we don't have a lot of money because, mm. well, people think we earn this fortune off YouTube, but by the time we've paid the lecky bill and Sean's cheese habit, we kind of skint at the end of the week, aren't we? Mm, cheese. He literally eats half a block a day. <laughs> oh, no, You do, you sit in that toilet nibbling away. <laughs> don't you? See, he's, like, he's trying to hide in it. In the toilet? I've seen you, have. <laughs> if you don't do it in the toilet, why are there empty packets of cheese in the bathroom bin? And I thought, well, I'll have a go myself, because the worst that happens is that I don't do a very good job of it, and then we have to get somebody in to do it. Yeah. So it was worth the go. Yeah. First thing I had to do was get all the stones that had fallen down and, and sort them into little groups. In little piles. In little piles. We like little piles, don't we? <laughs> kind of where they were before they fell, so I knew what I was going to put where, if that makes sense. Yes. Then the next thing I had to do was clean and shovel out all the soil that had fallen through the banking that had made the wall bulge. Yes. So I've got over a barrow full of soil out of what was in the wall which was causing it to move forward. Uh, that's all cleared out uh, and I'm ready to hopefully start rebuilding it now. Let's see how it goes. 
Once it was all nice and clean and ready to start again, I used the biggest, heaviest stones at the bottom, roughly where they were before, because that gives it a stronger, stable base, it doesn't does. it? It does, yes. It does. When I was putting the stones in, I did notice quite a few of them had these fossils. Yeah, there was quite a lot of them as well. Yeah. Now, I had to look on Google, but... To look like shellfish. They do. So if you know what sort of fossils they are, uh, drop a comment in the comments yeah. and let us know. Yeah. What do you reckon so far then? I'm quite happy with it. It's really solid. And the stones that I'm packing back inside, I'm really taking my time. It's like a jigsaw puzzle without any rules, if you know what I mean. So you can put the stones back, but I'm just packing them in and making sure they all fit so that it's really solid. It's probably more solid than the rest of the wall now. It is really good. And if you're an overthinker like me, things like this can, can do you good because when you're worrying about things, sometimes the problem isn't really the problem. The problem is overthinking the problem. So if you take away the overthinking, the problem doesn't seem as bad or might even go away. Does that make sense? Does it make sense to you? What? The thing with the big thing and the wet end. <laughs> <laughs> no overthinking. <laughs> Blimey. Oh. I actually did really enjoy it. It was really therapeutic, kind of mentally therapeutic, physically. Because you're not thinking about anything else. Yeah, it did me in physically. My back is still hurting. It's about three or four days, isn't it? And oh, it's. Uh, although it was nice to put my big man hands to good use, wasn't it? For a change. Instead of your office hands. Yeah, I'm always getting into trouble because of my man hands. <laughs> What? Now dry stone walls come in all shapes and sizes. They do. But this one was particularly thick. It's about two foot thick. And that's because I think it's because it's holding that big grass banking back, isn't yeah, it? I think so, yeah. Uh, and, and this one has got like an, a middle layer, which is full of rocks and pebbles. I noticed that the way even they were arranged were kind of supporting the stones on each side. It wasn't kind of just yes. thrown in there. So another one of the challenges as I'm building up each side was kind of getting these rocks back in, in the middle, in the right way. And All done. What do you reckon? <laughs> I fancy myself a new career building dry stone walls. I actually reckon I did a good job. I thought it was excellent. It's a lot more solid now than it was then. Oh yes. I think I'm gonna have a, a go with that other bulge the next time we get a nice day. <laughs> Cause we've got another one <laughs> yes. that looks in a similar condition. It needs kicking down and rebuilding. So I think I'm gonna have a go at that because it looks better now than it did. And it's a lot stronger now than yeah. it was. Yes. So I've done, well, it's better than it was anyway, not worse. Anyway, that's it. We're done. Is that it? We're done for this week. I feel like part-timers lately. Wow. Uh, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Only about half the people who watch our videos are subscribed. That's bizarre. That is weird, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we get a lot of people who watch but don't subscribe. So please subscribe. It makes a difference. It really does. Does it makes me all warm. It does like the low sun. It tickles me where it makes me laugh. Uh, so if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and if you'd hit the dangly bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a brand new video. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, which helps us rebuild walls and build chicken coops and things like that, uh, hit that link up above Sean's head, or it's also down in the video description, and you can become a Patreon or a YouTube member. You can, and you get awesome stuff. Loads more rubbish. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> Remember what happened last time you had to go and have a sit down, didn't Loads you? Loads of rubbish. I'm going to take him in for a cup of tea. Yes. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. ta -ra. Yes. Yeah? <clears throat> yeah. We'll show you now. He's forgotten already. <laughs> but he's forgot. He forgets. You can't... Once I had a nice clean hole... <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> Once I had a nice clean hole to deal with. <laughs> 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 Once I had a nice clean hole to work with. You <laughs> <laughs> can't stop saying that. Once everything was I was I wasn't even gonna say it that time. <laughs> Calm down, Sean. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh God, the way we're going, the outtakes get longer than the video. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Stop it! It's you! <laughs> you keep saying those. Stop it! You can't say things like that. Six takes and he's still laughing. I get out of breath doing vlogs now. <laughs> I get out of breath putting my coat on. There were a Waller on X Factor once, were it? Or Pop Idol? Which Waller? One, yeah, which one am I thinking of? Rick Waller. Oh, Waller, not yeah. Waller. <laughs> if I reminded myself of that Muppet then. <laughs>